I'm not sure I could say who was more radical, John or Samuel, because again, we have the problem that John puts everything on paper and Samuel doesn't. So for example, the animosity with Thomas Hutchinson. They clearly both despise Thomas Hutchinson. I mean, each of them you know, think he's the greatest threat to American liberty, and that's before the Stamp Act. Um, and there's no reason to accuse Thomas Hutchinson of this or to have such violent hatred of him. But John commits that to paper and Samuel doesn't. So John seems as if he's the more intemperate of the two. My guess is they probably, I mean, John says we saw eye to eye on this kind of thing. So my guess is that they were probably of about the same um, temper, but that Samuel, who is, can be a champion of restraint, shows it less. And I would say that in all things, I think we can agree John Adams was a fairly impulsive and impetuous player. One thing that distinguishes Adams as a revolutionary is that at various junctures, he will actually make an extraordinary case for slowing things down or tamping things down. This is a moment to be patient. This is not a moment to resist openly. Um, so he's very canny in that respect. And I would, I would say probably more even-tempered um, than was John.